welcome to Would I Lie to You, the show where dishonesty is sometimes the best policy. On Lee Mack's team tonight, a comedian and Taskmaster star who once wrote a panto. But don't worry, it's behind him now. It's Alex Horn. <laughs> <laughs> comedian who went to a boarding school in the Himalayas, which taught her a valuable life lesson. Once you've left school, it's all downhill. It's Sindhu V. <laughs> and on David Mitchell's team tonight, he's the host of The Masked Singer, where an octopus and a hedgehog were forced to battle it out without so much as a peep from the RSPCA. It's Joel <laughs> Domit. <laughs> And a TV presenter who once hosted Big Brother's Bit on the Side. Controlling, obsessive, and constantly watching your every move, David Mitchell is sitting next to her. It's <laughs> AJ Odudu! <laughs> and so we begin with round one, Home Truths, where our panellists read out a statement from the card in front of them. To make things harder, they've never seen the card before. They've no idea what they'll be faced with. It's up to the opposing team to sort the fact from the fiction, and Sindhu is first up tonight. If I don't want my husband to know I've been shopping, I hide what I've bought in the washing machine as there's no chance he'll ever look in there. <laughs> David Steele. What sort of thing would you hide? Shopping. <laughs> okay, that's, that's as specific as you need oh, to be. Oh, oh, I no, think we're ready no. to make a guess. Yeah, that's no, right. no. <laughs> Clothes. Clothes. Stuff that looks OK in oh, the see, washing I was, machine. I was imagining it might be, like, crisps and biscuits. Mm. That's sort of but why would I hide what that? What kind of person that? hides food from their partner? Well, <laughs> David, what sort of person does that? Victoria but, might find out I bought the Maltesers. Yes. <laughs> uh, put them in the washing machine. I'll just put this Toblerone behind the television. <laughs> <laughs> well, firstly, I hate Toblerone. Thank God you said Toberon and not my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, the whole idea of hiding shopping around the house did not come from me. <laughs> it came either from Sindhu or from a card that she has been forced to read out under a contract. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're trying to find out. I don't hide food. Um, <laughs> uh, Never before has a man sounded so much like he hides food. <laughs> I don't hide food! I don't hide food! Hide food. Hide food. Oh, I've never hidden How food. How loudly do I have to say that I don't hide food <laughs> to make you believe that I don't hide food? <laughs> I've got things under control and I'm not weird about them. <laughs> wow. And how much do you go shopping on average per week, would you say? Ooh, depends on the year. Depends... On the year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 1987 was a bad year. I was out every day. Yeah. <laughs> every time I had a kid, right. that year I would just shop like crazy because I wanted to, A, be away from the kid, um, <laughs> and, B, you know, things happen in your mind. You think, if I maybe have this dress or that pair of jeans, I'll not feel like I'm humongous, which you are after you've had a baby, you know what I mean? Can I just check? Have you seen this show before? Yes. It is not the Jeremy Kyle show. No. <laughs> I... <laughs> so when was the last time you put your shopping in the washing machine? So I would say August 2019 would probably have been the last time, because after and what, that I was away. Do you away. remember what you hid in the washing machine Yes. Then? Yes, I yeah. do. <laughs> One of the kids! <laughs> You don't have to tell them, they're just... Yeah. Do you remember when? Just say, yeah. Mm. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah. yeah. But what was it? Ah, now you have to tell them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a, an Isabel Morant dress, mm. which was really outrageously priced. What did your husband do when he finds out that you've been shopping? Why do you need to hide it in the first place? Because, you know, there are times when you don't need to go out and spend that much money on a dress. And as an adult, you should know that. What sort of a man is your husband? Because <laughs> I'm picturing an ogre. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, this was a bit excessive, really. But how would he express his displeasure? Rob, keep it light. <laughs> 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 what are you thinking? AJ, first of all, what do you think? I think it's a fantastic hiding space. Therefore, I think she's telling the truth. All right. I live by myself and I still hide clothes for myself. <laughs> You hide like, clothes from yourself? Yeah. <laughs> How do you hide them from yourself? Because, I mean, in a sense, I hide clothes from myself in that I put them in a wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> B, 
Because of the guilt of spending so much money on them, you mean? Yeah, because it is like, oh, my gosh. Like, yes, You right? can't justify that expenditure Thank you. to anybody, not even to yourself. All right. I'm like that with heroin. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to take a guess. Uh, oh David, God, no. what are you going to say? Um, Maybe she's lying, actually, because actually... It's definitely put, a possibility. You just, you just put it in your wardrobe, wouldn't you? I think you just put it yeah. in the place... You just put it in your wardrobe. Yeah. He wouldn't be looking at the wardrobe. I think it's a lie. You think it's a lie? Lie. 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 It's a lie. I definitely lie. think it's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> They're saying it's a lie. Sindhu, truth or lie? It's a lie. Yeah! 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 It's a lie. Sindhu doesn't hide her shopping in the washing machine. Uh, OK, AJ, you're next. OK. I once had to interview Lady Gaga using an American accent because her manager told me there was no way she'd be able to understand my northern voice. Can you repeat that? I don't yeah, understand the word. word <laughs> <laughs> so, your accent, you are from? Blackburn, Lancashire, Which? an exotic place. I grew up in Blackburn. Did you now? Hey, maybe we were in the same year at school. Mm. Oh, my <laughs> What school did you go to? I went to a school that was confusingly called Everton High School. Not that in Blackburn. One. It's been abolished, though, hasn't it? Abo it's been demolished. It's demolished. <laughs> <laughs> it's not been abolished. It's been demolished, and uh, as is my dad's house, and as is uh, the house we lived in before that. Oh, my Because it's every comedian's dream to have a blue plaque outside a house, but they're just wiping all history off me. <laughs> oh, my God! The hospital that I was born in has been knocked down as well, and now it's a block of flats oh. across from what used to be where we used to go shopping, Quick save. That's been knocked down too. My mum used to work at Quick Save. No, I hope she got out before they knocked it down. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it for a while. They've even knocked down the brewery. Have they? Oh my okay, gosh. Okay, I'm going wow. to so step cool. in at this point oh and uh, <laughs> just see if we can open the show out to people who didn't grow up in <laughs> Blackburn. Wow. So you were interviewing Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Why? <laughs> Why were you shut up? Why were you interviewing Lady? Um, I was <laughs> um, presenting a music TV show. Of course. And, um, yeah, she was promoting one of her brand new singles. I want to confirm you've met Lady Gaga. Yeah, 100%. Is she very little? She's not very little. How little? Um, I'd say she's about five foot six. Pretty oh. tall. Pretty <laughs> tall, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Statuesque, surely. <laughs> How far did you get into the interview before Lady Gaga said, I haven't understood a single word this lady has said to me? I was chatting away, asking her loads of questions, really liked her out. I just want a figure, just a number. Just a OK. Number. <laughs> um, just, just minutes. I said, oh, I don't know, like, two minutes? Was that two minutes mainly you talking about what in Blackburn had been demolished? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And when you did The American, did she do Blackburn from then? Lady <laughs> 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 Gaga! <laughs> What are you thinking? <laughs> well, I think it's true because... Right. Well, because it's very plausible that AJ has interviewed Lady Gaga, and it's also plausible that Lady Gaga just doesn't understand more than one kind of well, accent. Well, here's the thing. Can you understand what she's saying? Yes, because I'm bright. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaga... You, your, your songs are great, your outfits are tremendous, but not so good with the English. So... <laughs> are you struggling to understand her Lancashire accent? No. This oh. is where I'm worried that it might not be true, cos I think every word... It's pretty word clear, can... isn't it? It is pretty clear. And the other thing about Americans is, I find, as someone from the North myself, that they think we're all posh. Mm. They just think everyone with an English accent is posh, so we all sound the same to them. Mate, they do not think you're posh. Let me tell you that right now. <laughs> what are you going to say on behalf of your team? Right. I think well, it's true. I don't know. I'm saying true. True. OK, we're going to go true, but I can't understand why Lady Gaga can't understand her accent. All right, but you're saying true. OK, AJ, were you telling us the truth or were you telling us a lie? I was telling you a lie! Oh. Oh. It's a lie. AJ didn't interview Lady Gaga in an American accent. 
Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. This week, each of David's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest. It's up to Lee's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Zaid. <laughs> I must play Super Mario again. Um, <laughs> so, Joel, what is Zaid to you? Uh, this is Zaid. He came to my wedding, and when he started dancing, my mum started crying. Joel's wedding wrecker. AJ, how do you know Zaid? So, this is Zaid, and I had to cut short our only date because he insisted on riding a penny farthing. AJ's <laughs> disappointing date, and finally, David, what is your relationship <laughs> with Zaid? This is Zaid. After being splashed by a transit van, I. <laughs> I wore his trousers to a book signing. <laughs> <laughs> These team, where to begin? Joel, when was your wedding? It was in uh, Mykonos. When? Did I say when or were? I said when. When, when was your wedding? Mykonos. <laughs> <laughs> when was it? Last uh, September. Last September. What was it about his dance that made your mum cry? Well, I say... Dancing, it was uh, moshing. Was he the only one moshing? Uh, he, he wasn't. Um, other people joined in with the moshing, and um, my mum thought they were fighting. Uh, and so oh, I see. Yeah. What was the music that was playing? It was um, Papa Roach, Last Resort. We have a sound team on this show that are pretty adequate. I think, <laughs> even as we've been speaking, they've probably been searching. What was it called? Papa Roach, last resort. Hit it. Cut my leg oh, that actually pieces. worked. Oh, this my is God. my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. OK, well, well OK, stop that. But Why on earth wedding. were you playing that at a wedding? In a mickey Yeah. yeah Especially given off. it was the first dance. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's not very romantic, is it? Yeah. This is my last resort. <laughs> <laughs> So we, we had our first dance, which was to a uh, much more romantic song. And basically, we had a, a party playlist sorted to start immediately after the first dance. And we, we should have, in hindsight, put it in sort of some sort of order, but we actually just put it on shuffle. Why didn't you pay for a DJ? I'll be honest, I don't really understand the difference between a DJ and just, you know, and Spotify. Well, a DJ will feel the room. When you're DJing, David, you've told me it's about a vibe, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you told me you sense the room. I, my primary thought is fire safety. <laughs> <laughs> so, when your mom saw him moshing... Yeah. ..did she cry because of him or the general chaos? I think my mum was crying with the general chaos, really, because everyone's just started moshing away. Then my mum was like, oh, my God, it's a fight! And my oh. dad was like, oh, my God, it's a fight! <laughs> and, um... Have we found out yet how he knows Zaid? He goes to the gym that I used to go to. And that's why you invited him to your wedding? Yeah. <laughs> Did you invite all your gym people to your wedding? Yeah, two, two gym people. We had, there was only 29 people at the wedding, so I just And did, two of yeah. them were randos from the gym? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a bold move, isn't it, to go up to a you know, strapping, muscly man and going, Ah, yeah, um, you ever been to Mykonos? <laughs> <laughs> now, who would you like to quiz next? Uh, AJ. Right. Now, remind uh, us, AJ, of the connection. I had to cut short our date because he insisted on riding a penny farthing. Did you meet him or did he come pick you up for the date? No, we met. And he was there on this bike. You were like, hey, Zaid, how are you? No, well, basically, <laughs> we met in a bar. I arrived before him, which was already annoying because mm. I'm meant to arrive late, not yeah. you. Yeah, come but, on, Zaid. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you ask him why he was late? No. And he said, well, have a look at my bike. <laughs> <this is right." laughs> I just didn't know anything about the penny farthing at all. We were having a lovely time on the day, and so he was like, right, should we move on to the next place? 
Who was that? Whilst we were talking, he did say that he had a penny farthing, and I just thought he was joking. <laughs> but, and then I get outside, and he's unchaining it, and I was like, oh, you wasn't joking. <laughs> so why did you cut the date short, though? I did actually go on to the next place. However, at the next venue, didn't find a pole to chain his penny farthing to. <laughs> so, whilst we sat at the bar, he keeps looking out the window. <laughs> looking out for his penny farthing. I mean, it's one thing looking at other women on a date, but <laughs> looking at a rusty old bike, that's too much, isn't it? I'm not being funny, but it actually was. Can I ask AJ, is the big wheel at the front or the back? I think it's at the front, I don't know. Mm. So How did, did he get on it? I don't... But her... Him. <laughs> How did he get on the I bike? I didn't get on the bike. I know you Trust didn't. Trust me, I did not get on that bike. Yeah. Well, you've had enough thinking time now. How did he get on the bike? <laughs> he just, like, got on it. I oh, just, right, uh... you've explained it. How thank you. <laughs> <laughs> In the pub, your only objection was that he was looking out for his... I presume it's an antique bike. Listen, I don't <laughs> know where he got the bike from, whether he got it from Halfords or the Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> All I know... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, you sounded to me like someone who's a quite hard work on a date, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> I understand now no, why I he brought it. along his plastic screen so he didn't have to listen to it. <laughs> How did you cut it short? What did you say? Basically... On your bike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. David, remind us of how it is that you know Zaid. He let me wear his trousers after I'd been splashed by a transit van and I had to go to a book signing. Where, where, where were you? On my way to Foyle's Bookshop in London. And where was Zaid? He worked at the bookshop. Was Zaid a humble assistant? Was he head of Foyle's? What, what was he? I'd be surprised if he was the chief executive of the company, <laughs> but he worked in the bookshop. So you get into the shop. Now, are these sort of khaki slacks? In which case, the stainage, if we can call it that, in your front trouser area is all the more alarming and does hint at perhaps problems of a urological uh, type. He's asking, did it look like you'd wet yourself? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It certainly might have done. Although, to be honest, my trousers were so wet, people would have admired me if they thought I could generate <laughs> that, that amount of urine. <laughs> Did he offer his trousers, or was he it forced was... by oh. someone higher up the chain to strip off and give them to TV's David Mitchell? He offered them. I, I came into the, the shop, uh, sort of, in a squelch, squelch, sort of walking, <laughs> and this signing was starting in a few minutes, uh. and I was embarrassed by my appearance, if you can imagine such a thing. <laughs> and... <laughs> and were the three fans staring at you in the... <laughs> or were they looking the other way at this point? Were they...? There was c quite a considerable yeah. queue of, you know... For the toilet, so you couldn't use that. <laughs> <laughs> Zaid was there representing the bookshop to say, oh, you're here for the signing of your book. <laughs> and uh, it's a brilliant book, he said. <laughs> <laughs> so he says to you, why don't you use my trousers? He had some spare trousers with him. Oh, he had spare ones? Yes. I mean, how funny is your book? <laughs> <laughs> but why did he have spare trousers? Because he was going to the gym, where, you know, you meet people at the gym, don't you? <laughs> He was... Uh, they were, like, sport... Uh, jo jogging bottoms. So you did the book signing trousers. in jogging bottoms? I did Would it Would it not have been more bottoms? appropriate yes. for him to wear the jogging bottoms and you to wear his trousers? Um, I felt that to suggest that <laughs> would be a bit personal. And I, di I didn't particularly... I thought, why not a pair of trousers that neither of us have worn that day? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's an odd look, isn't it? Because I can imagine you turning up for a book signing, you've got your, your little checkered shirt on, your dicky bow, <laughs> your little fez, and then <laughs> you've, got, you've got your tracksuit bottoms, and it's all tucked in to the... Like that. <laughs> Hello. Want me to sign yeah. that? Obviously, with a book signing, you're sitting at a table, your, mm. your legs aren't that visible. Where in the shop did you go to change? Which section? Mm. I, I, I Please don't say the children's in... section. <laughs> In the back room, in the stock room area. Right, right and then yeah. at the end of the... After you'd signed your three books, she said, thanks for coming, Mum, thanks for coming, Dad. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and did you then... Did you then... He liked that one and he's not allowed to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you... 
<laughs> did you then give him his trousers back or did he say, I'll oh, just take them, you can have them? I gave him his trousers back. What month were you going to Foils? <laughs> to do... November. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that does check out. Well yeah. done, David. <laughs> it could have rained in November. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't pick one of those months where it never rains in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Lee's team. Is Zaid Joel's wedding wrecker, AJ's disappointing date, or David's legwear lender? They're all implausible, aren't they? Well, Joel's is implausible. Mm. You don't think Joel? The whole I invited two random guys from my gym. Mm. These two, I buy the dating thing big time, but Do I think you? it's a personal bias, yeah. I because, think I buy it big time. Yeah, as well. I mean, if I was on a date and some guy was looking at his vehicle and not me, he's out. And then if the vehicle was a penny farthing, I'd be like, God, what a lunatic I picked up on the internet. They just seem different types. I mean, it just doesn't <laughs> ring true. You but... don't know my type. I do. I've tried ringing you many times and you never pick up. <laughs> so, Alex, if you had to plump for one of these... Which I do. Who would it be? It would be AJ. AJ. Because I don't think people do get splashed by transit vans and puddles. In real life. <laughs> you think it's AJ? You think it's AJ? It's AJ. OK. Zaid, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Zaid, and my dancing made Joel's mum oh. cry. Oh. Yeah. Zaid is Joel's wedding wrecker. Thank you very much, Zaid. Which brings us to our final round, Quick Fire Lies, and we start with... It's Alex. Five years ago, I spent a whole week building an elaborate contraption just so my wife can let me know when lunch is ready. <laughs> David's team. What is this contraption? A telephone. <laughs> <laughs> It's an, a contraption that goes from the house to the bottom of the garden where, where I spend most of the morning. But why? Why? <laughs> because, uh, because I've got a little shed down there where I, where I write. Describe this, this contraption to us. OK, well, it's long. <laughs> it's, I've got a very long garden. Mm -hmm. And oh, okay. uh, it's on a slight uh, incline. Mm -hmm. It's made out of tubes and my wife operates one end, I receive... <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I, receive, I receive something that comes out the other end of the tube. So it's, it's a very long tube, and she puts a little ball in one end. <laughs> and the ball plops out the other end. <laughs> and that's when lunch is ready. You sound like somebody who is teaching sex education <laughs> but hasn't got a clue yourself. <laughs> well, there's a ball at one end and... <laughs> The ball comes out the other end and, and that's where that's I'm lunch is ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what makes it elaborate? Is it the length of it? Yes. How long is it? Long. 60 metres. 60 metre long garden? I mean, you're doing well, so but not, not that well. Right. <laughs> How wide is your garden? Is it one metre? <laughs> that would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> and eight metres wide. Why okay. doesn't she just phone you or text you or WhatsApp you? <laughs> Because, Rob, um, there's no phone reception at the bottom of the garden. You said your garden's on an incline, so is she yeah, putting said... a ball in one end? How's that travelling up? Well, it's an incline. Well, the incline from my end is at from... the house, yeah, and it... the bottom part is... It really is quite simple, No, but that's, you know. a, de that's a decline. No, a decline is incline. what you would do if David was to suggest something a bit fruity. <laughs> that is a decline. <laughs> What happens when it reaches the shed? It plops... Oh, yes, yes. ..into the lid of a metal bin. OK. Oh. So, once it's installed, that's it. You can forget about it. I should take the pipes off the ground. Oh, all right. How, how did you suspend it off the ground? In a hedge. The pipe's very important as well, cos we had a similar system at my house where we didn't use the pipe. My wife was at the bottom <laughs> in the shed working, <laughs> and I used to just roll it, roll the golf ball down, and there'd been a heavy snowfall, <laughs> and it gathered momentum, <laughs> and it pushed it off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's awful. The whole thing was flattened, yeah. and uh, that's sadly how my wife died. So it's very important <laughs> to keep it in case. <laughs> All right, well, look, what are you thinking? It does sound to me a little fantastical. It's peak boredom, isn't it? And some people get bored. I think the show's the going fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think it 
it's true. I think it's true as well. I'm going to say it's true. OK, so, uh, Alex, <gasps> truth or lie? 60 metres. True! Oh. <laughs> it's true. Alex has built a contraption just so his wife can tell him when lunch is ready. And we've got a clip of it. Yes. Oh. You described it. Next. <coughs> it's Lee. Last year, I bought a suit of armour from an antique shop. <laughs> then had to wear it home on the train <laughs> because it was easier than carrying it. <laughs> <laughs> David's team. <laughs> OK. So, <laughs> where was the antiques shop? It was in a street near uh, Leicester Square. There's a little side passage full of antique shops and the like. Were you planning to buy a suit of armour that day? Absolutely not. I mean, who does? Why did you buy it? Well, yeah. there was people firing <laughs> arrows at me. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? <laughs> so you're We've all done it. We've all been to London. Were you planning... Watch a show, have a kebab. <laughs> then it starts, doesn't it? <laughs> what, were you planning to buy an antique that day? No, I was, I was not planning to buy anything, but I've always fancied uh, a suit of armour. What sort of suit of armour was it? From what era? From what...? Oh, it was a proper original one from the 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> was it a sort of theatrical prop, perhaps? That's exactly what it was. It yes. was from a show yes. uh, in the West End. In the West End. What was it called? It might have been uh, A Room for Two Nights. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> This was just uh, just one of the costumes. I don't know where the other one went. <laughs> <laughs> it was on display. I went in, I looked at it, and I said, is this for sale? He said, no, but if you make me an offer, I might consider it. I made him the offer, he considered it. Uh, and then he said, now let's get back to buying the, the costume. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got excited with my purchase. So I said, I'll take it now. He said, it's heavy. I said, I think I can manage. And he joked and he said, you could always wear it home. And I thought, hang on, that's not only a purchase. That's a story for Wood, I lie to you. <laughs> 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 so I said, uh, do you mind if I get changed and I'll go home in it? I said, all right then. And that's what happened. I got changed and, and out I went like that. <laughs> How long was your entire journey door to door from the shop yeah. to your home? Well, usually in normal clothes, it's about, <laughs> uh, I'd say it's about an hour. Yeah. Uh, this took three and a half days. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Is he telling the truth? <laughs> I think it's a lie. I would love a lie? to be true, but it's a lie. You can't get under underground with a lot of shopping bags. So AJ thinks it's, a, it's lie. a lie. Joel thinks it's a lie. I think, David, you're thinking it might be true. It's a lie. <laughs> oh, God, no. No. <laughs> no. I think it's a lie. <laughs> Lee, truth or lie? It is, in fact, a lie. Yay! <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Lee didn't wear a suit of armour on the train home. That noise signals time is up, it's the end of the show, and I can reveal that David's team have won by five points to nil. Well done, well done. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Good night.